Give this card to whoever needs the most alarms to wake up in the morning. <laughs> oh my god! Most of the time I don't think that he's like thinking about anything. I just think there's like monkey symbols in his brain. Hallie was popping rockets. I was in the bathroom! It doesn't count! Who broke up Of course you? I had to do it right before our, our like year anniversary. Oh yeah. What like a gumbo. Like a moron. Give this card to whoever has the hottest mom. You want to keep that one? I'm sorry. What is that supposed to mean? Guys? Give this card to who Pain. whoever is the biggest hypochondriac. Hallie, my God. She has to wash her hands every second. Honey, do you know what hypochondriac means? But he says not worry about having a serious illness. <laughs> This week, we're going to let you guys in on some uh, little secrets, and you guys are going to get to know us just a little bit better. How, you may ask? Well, we're going to answer some questions from one of our favorite games. Some of these answers that we have are uh, quite shocking, and they're really going to surprise you. Let's get into this Half Past Crew. <sighs> Welcome to Half Past John. Guys, welcome back to another episode of Half Past Show. We are so glad you're here. My name is K2. My name is Hallie. And if you can't already tell, we're an interracial couple. <coughs> and that's what we talk about. We talk about being an interracial couple. We talk about relationships in general. And we get questions from you all because you guys go to www.halfpastshow.com com and submit your own questions and stories and that's also where you've been buying all this merch so thank you for doing that huge shout out to everyone who's bought the merch we love you we see you thank you so much we release new podcast episodes every monday at 7 a.m so if you haven't already make sure you like this video subscribe if you haven't already on youtube and if you're on spotify or apple podcast give us five stars and follow the podcast so you'll be notified at 7 a.m. on Mondays. We'll always be here. Thank always. you so much for following along. Settle in, get cozy, and grab your jaw. Boy, right. do we have an episode for you. <laughs> I'm, I don't know about you, Suke, too, but I'm feeling a little crazy. I'm uh, I'm feeling pretty good about it too, you know. I'm feeling a little uh, saucy. Oh, do you have a lot of energy right now? I'm feeling it. More passion, more passion, more energy, energy. more energy. energy. I got some crit. Mm. Okay, so let's just give a little synopsis of what we're doing this episode. Okay, you heard me in the intro. We're gonna get a little crazy. We're gonna get a little saucy. We actually have one of my favorite games. It's called For the Girls. Um, I'm the For only girl the here. For the girls. <laughs> However, I'm the only girl here um, besides Sylvie, but she will not be participating. Uh, she has past trauma with this game. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> but you are not a girl, so we're no. going to make it work. These questions. Yeah. If you've never played this game, there are just a lot of different cards. It's kind of like Cards of Humanity-ish, but like not really. It's just like some crazy cards that we have, and we're going to be going through them, and we're going to be talking about them, and we're going to be giving our answers and doing some story times along the way. So get ready, because... Um, like I said, I'm feeling crazy. Tsukete's okay, feeling saucy. You never know what's going to happen when you got a combo like that. All right. You got a combo it. like that. Let's get in it. Damn. All, All right. right. Yeah. You want to go first? I want to go first. So these questions, I've just like brought up things in the past that you like we won't normally think about, right? Yeah. So give this card to somebody who knows the most amount of rap lyrics. Oh, pro that's Look, me. I give this to Hallie because guess what? When I first met Hallie, uh, she just knew the craziest songs and she knew every word to these crazy <laughs> songs. Okay, look, listen, I'm look, I'm walking in, I'm walking onto the bus. We're going to a cross country meet and this woman over here, super innocent looking, looks like she would probably listen to some country, maybe some One Direction. Well, I, yeah. And I put on, uh, we share head, we shared headphones and we like started playing music. This girl started playing schoolboy q and and not only that but she she sang the lyrics every single word she knew it so this isn't like oh it's a one-time thing to look cool no she she studied this song <laughs> I, I enjoyed it it brought out the darker parts of me. and so that's why that <laughs> card goes to hallie yeah i like to say i'm very versatile in my music tastes um, and I do not listen to country. There was a time where mm. Hallie listened to country. However, that time is well past us. Um, but I always, I, I always liked rap. I still like rap. 
It's different now. It used to be, it, it stopped being good in like 2018. There are some songs now that I'm like, okay, this has potential. But like most of them are just garbage. It's sad. Rap mm. used to be a lot better than it is now. Yeah. Moving on. Mine. Okay. <laughs> keep this card. If you've ever worn Crocs, keeping it. I have Crocs. I have two pairs of Crocs. Yeah, I got Crocs too. They're actually really comfortable. Very versatile. Yeah. I like them. We get hate. For the Crocs. I've had people say, why do you wear Crocs? Yeah. I have well, I have one friend specifically that hates the Crocs. He's got past trauma. I love Crocs. Crocs. Leave a comment down below if you like Crocs. Croc gang. I'm going to do one that is also keep this card. Keep, keep this card if you've ever hitchhiked. You've hitchhiked? I have, everybody, in India. Okay. Um, Story time. Do tell. I was going to Mumbai from my house in the village, right? It's about a three-hour drive four hour drive ish. Uh, and we had a train ticket. We missed the train, everybody. It was just me and my cousins. Okay. And so like my parents weren't there. Nobody was there to take us to Mumbai and my flight took off the next day. And so like we had to make it to Mumbai. And the, the, the thing that we did was we got out of the train station. The first thing we saw was a bus. And so we asked the bus guy, if he was like, hey, can and I know you guys, like it, the bus was going to Mumbai, like all the tr train stations, they were going to Mumbai. So all the buses outside were also going to Mumbai. And so uh, we were like, hey, can I, can I get on this? And they were like, sure. It's going to be a thousand rupees. We were like, oh my God, that's a lot. And so like we talked them down. We ended up paying like, I don't know, uh, three to 600 rupees or something like that. And so we ended up hitchhiking on this bus. Um, that was going to Mumbai and it was a bed bus. So like there's just beds on the bus. So you get your little, little cubby and we, three of us went into one small bed, the size of this table, maybe. So we just crammed in there and we got dropped off at 2 AM in the middle of the highway in Mumbai. And then we took a rickshaw to the, the house that my parents were at. What a story. You want to put that in the good story basket? There you go. Wow. I'm just kidding. That's a good story. I'm sorry. I just couldn't stop thinking about all the mouth noises that you were making when you were talking. I was not making mouth noises. You're like, you know, I'm not going to do it because it would drive me crazy right. if I heard well, it. Let me know if anybody <laughs> that was a good mouth story. noises. Um, and I also was kind of zoned out because this card that I picked up immediately just like covered my face because i'm like oh my god it's just gonna be mm. a little silly this is your saucy time all right okay. get saucy <laughs> give this <laughs> oh my god <laughs> give this card to whoever is most likely to consume <laughs> breast milk <laughs> all right not that i've ever said that out loud or anything don't lie but don't like, lie listen I have nothing to say to this card. I think that is disgusting. Do you pinky promise? I'm not doing anything okay. today. All right. You know what? Because you said that, give this card to whoever's most likely to become a hoarder. I'm not a hoarder of what? Things, like Hallie. What? Like what? Like what? Like your house. phone case that you just got rid of. You just got rid of your phone, but you want to keep the phone case it's that has no phone for it's it. It's one singular phone case. It has memories. Don't even... We That's talked the thing. about this. You embarrassed me on Instagram Live too. You were like, "I let's do a poll, and if everybody votes, then you have to get rid of it." I don't care for memories. I care for getting rid of things that don't need to be in the house. You know what? At least I wouldn't drink breast milk. Okay. Hey. You literally you would. Probably would if you had the chance. No, I don't think so. I've heard it does not taste good, and I don't want to find out. Mm. I don't like tasting disgusting things. Mm. Okay. I don't. All right. You're avoiding the question because Your you turn. know this conversation that we've had a million times and I wish I could be honest right now. Your turn. Be honest with the Missy. people. That's what they want. That's what they want. Give the people what they want. What are you talking about? <laughs> you know what I'm talking I don't about. Know what you're talking about. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Mm, I have no idea what you're talking about. Look at me in the face. If I had the opportunity, maybe. Maybe? Sure. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, we're going to move on. Give this card to whoever is the best with parents. I'm keeping that. Parents love me. That's true. Hallie's pretty good with parents. Sometimes she can't handle them, but most times she can. What is that supposed to mean? What? I'm just I saying. I can't handle. Who? Who can I not handle? No, I'm just saying. Sometimes Hallie 
is too good of a goody two shoe. You know what I mean? Not that I'm a goody two shoes. Mm, I'm trying to not bit. do that anymore. I'm trying to. It's okay to piss people off. That's my issue. I need to learn to be okay with that instead of trying to accommodate for everybody all the time. Give this card to someone. Uh, give this card to whoever made the best grades in high school. I'm giving that to myself, everybody, because Hallie didn't do too hot. At least I had friends. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to go there. We all had our strengths in high school. Mm -hmm. I just happened to be... Well, actually, that's not even true because you made the lip dub. Mm. You made the lip dub and everybody loved you, but you were very social. Yeah, I was. Um, you but I don't, I don't think I had friends. You did. You I had, had friends. friends. I had friends, yes. I had like my core group of friends. But I wasn't like in a friend group. You know what I mean? Like those are people like with the groups. Mm. I wasn't in one of those. In a clique? You weren't in a clique? Yeah. I had a lot of like friends here and there, but they were in their own groups. Same. I never had yeah. that group. Well, I had a group of friends. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Like a small yeah, you did. group of friends. Yeah, you did. Okay. Now you're just like yeah. pushing it. Okay. Give this card to whoever is most likely to make someone cry. Me. Giving that to you, Dude, sir. I love pushing people's buttons to like get them to be better. That's what I like doing. It's not that I want them to cry, but if they have to cry to become better, then it makes sense, right? But why do you feel the need to take that on to make somebody better? Because they know, they don't know what they need yet. They need And you it. do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I <laughs> How do. do you? Yeah. I just do. So you're what, a life coach now? I am a life coach. If you want to contact me for some lessons in life let me know <laughs> i can help i would not contact you for lessons in life give this card to whoever has the darkest sense of humor yeah that's gotta be me hallie's got some dark humor people i want everybody if you are the same boat i want you to to drop the darkest joke you well got. <laughs> hold on <laughs> <laughs> maybe not the well, darkest joke you got. Maybe Let's don't give like get a PG. flagged. All right. But drop your darkest joke, but not the darkest, darkest. Drop, drop your mid darkest joke. Yeah. Like so on a mid, on yeah. a mid, mid level, mid range level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like do that. Yeah. Maybe give nice. it like, like a something with like a C rating. Does that make sense? Yeah. With a rating? Yeah. Okay. That. Yeah. Well, like a, like a five out of 10. Okay. Mm -hmm. So not like 12 out of 10. We're not going to floor it. But like, you know, yeah, don't don't get our podcast flagged, please. Um, I'm regretting picking this one. Keep this card if you've ever been walked in on during a hookup. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> we don't hook up. I don't know what that is. Yeah, we've never done that. So <laughs> I don't know why what you does would that pick mean? that card. Does that mean what? Uh, hmm, uh, what is Moving that? on. <laughs> uh, keep this card if you've ever thrown up from eating too much. No. You've thrown up from eating too much? Yes. See, some since I've hit after 26, after the age of 26, what? I I haven't been able to control myself sometimes. I do a lot of traveling, right? And there are certain times where I'll eat a lot. And then I'll do stupid things like go work out right after. Oh, well, that is really stupid. And that's Skill caused issue. me to throw up, throw up. Yeah. When? It was a while ago. Probably like a year ago. You want to tell this? Wait. No, I'm not telling that story. Please. Not the please. LA story. <laughs> maybe at the end. Maybe please. for members only. No, please. <laughs> please. Oh, my God. I'll do it for members only, but that's it. You guys. Yeah. I'll do it at the end. Remind me. Okay, I'll make sure I write it down. This story... <laughs> I've never felt so sorry for somebody. Um, What a wild ride. What an emotional roller coaster. Okay. That's all I can say. Okay. Your turn. Yeah, moving on. <laughs> all right. Give this card to whoever's most likely to have a 10-minute long Snapchat story. Probably me. Yeah. I'm just You're more of Instagram. I'm a, yeah, okay, let's say story in general. I'm a yapper, and yeah. it's a it's a curse. It's a blessing and a curse, okay? Okay, well. See, I'm yapping right now. This is a, this is one. It says, keep this card if you've ever made an Instagram account for your pet. I can't do that, but Hallie oh, can. Shoot. Hallie had a bird, oh, and she, This still hurts a little bit. They, I don't know, it's a she or he, because. I still don't know. She doesn't even know. <laughs> and we never she did. found out after nine years of having the bird that it was a different 
gender by the the nose, the beak of the yeah. Some bird, bird expert, one of the a weird guy in one of my classes, told me that, and the people at PetSmart did not tell me that. They said, "Oh, this is a girl," and then the dude was like, a, a nine years later, oh no, actually, this is a boy." And I was like, "What the? F- my world yeah. is flipped upside down. Like, yeah. what do you want from me at this point? Is the is the sky blue? I don't know. <laughs> Peaches but- was a boy." I'm shook. I'm shook. I think Sylvie should have her own Instagram account, but the issue is we already have too many Instagram accounts oh to God, I can't manage. Keep track. So if anybody wants to start a Sylvie account, <gasps> let me know. Sylvie fan page. Sylvie uh, fan page. Oh my God. Uh, I, would, I have to give like, you another one real quick. Okay. Keep this card if you've ever been hacked on social media. So I'm going to give this to Hallie because she has. When? Your LinkedIn got hacked. Oh my which God. Which is still social media in a way. That was like messed up, which it's granted it's like in the corporate world. So like, I don't care because I care about my other social medias way more. But my LinkedIn. okay, this is actually kind of a crazy story. My LinkedIn of all things got hacked. Now, why would that be? I still have no idea. It's not like I had anything valuable in there. I mean, all my experience was visible. I don't understand it. And I don't know why. Like LinkedIn is free to create. So that's also confusing. I didn't have like the LinkedIn premium that people pay for. I don't know why you pay for that. But I got hacked on my LinkedIn. Which sucks because it sounds like nothing, but you build connections. Yeah, you, I had like a you, thousand connections, you, you guys. You have all these like the data of you going from job to job. All that stuff just got deleted, like all the projects she had in there and everything. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, it was kind of annoying because I've had it since college, right? Like when I had internships and I put classwork in there and everything. But again, it's, it's whatever. But it is odd that I got hacked and my, I tried to log in and I couldn't log in. And I was like, that's odd. And it just kept saying like, your account not found. Your, and I was like, what? hold on a second. And then the crazy thing is that all this had happened and I created a new account, whatever. I asked my coworkers, I was like, do you guys are like, I was not able to get into my account. Do you remember seeing like any activity from here? And they were like, oh yeah, it said you're looking for a new job. And I was like, oh my God, my, my coworkers and my boss saw that I'm looking for a job. Like yeah, that, that's crazy. Mm, that was a whole thing. And I was kind of like stressed about it, but it was so stupid. Why would you have LinkedIn? I don't know. Next. You got to give me two of them. Okay. Give this card to whoever has the hottest mom. Do you want to keep that one? That's. Yeah, you should definitely keep that one. I'm sorry. What is that supposed to mean? You should definitely keep that one. Keep that one to yourself. Okay, next. Uh, Mom, are you watching? (laughs) Our moms are both equally hot. Your mom. Your mom is gorgeous. My mom. Gorgeous. Oh, my God. Keep this card if you've ever clogged a toilet and left. Here you go. (sighs) Okay. I've done that. Yeah, you're not even going to deny it, are no, you? Because you're, can't. yeah, you can't. Because story time. No, no, no. This is <laughs> this is a members only type of deal because it's the same Why? story. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's the uh, it's the same thing. So if that gives you guys any kind of hint as to what this could possibly be about, there you go. Yeah. Do you want me to do another one? Yeah, go ahead. Give this card to whoever is most likely to zone out when someone's telling a story. Oh, there that's you go. me. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what it is about my ADHD slash not of the ability to just not concentrate. Like, I just can't do it. I don't know. Okay, I know for a fact that I have ADHD, but it's like, it's gotten so much worse after COVID. Like, before COVID, I felt like I was able to concentrate okay. You know, like, not too much. But after COVID, like every, everything just switched to online and like all my work on the computer, all my like after work stuff on the computer, we, like everything is on the computer. Everything's on the TV, everything like I, I, I'm, I'm afraid that I don't even know how to like write on a piece of paper anymore. And I don't know. I, I think I was able to concentrate more when I was like writing on a piece of paper rather than everything being on the computer. And I'm just getting i get distracted so easily brain rot yeah it's brain rot we're so just brain rot you guys That's there's the a song way to describe it out there that one of the the people that has been on this podcast have uh has been in it's called brain rot <laughs> and um it's a great song and Shout he has a liam. great verse in it so. he's a g- liam has many talents rapping is one of them being funny is also one of them so shout out liam yeah Good, good, good. All right. You want you, you got two and I got I'll give you one. Okay. All right. Uh let's see here. Give this card to whoever's most likely to get kicked out of a party. For what? Because you're you're an app yapper. 
The yappers need to get kicked out of the party. Listen, you've been kicked out of class before for talking too much. Okay. For yapping. That's what I'm trying to say is like, you talk. I know when to keep my mouth shut. You, you do not. That's true. Ah. Sometimes I talk too much for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I do too. It's okay. That's why we're together. Don't you think? Not like we've ever been invited to a party. (laughs) Yeah. We don't really get invited to things. (laughs) (laughs) But hey. Uh, maybe that's in our future. Who knows? Are you trying to hint at something? What are you trying to like secretly tell people? Hey, invite us to a party. No, we're going to have a big half past shy party and you guys are all invited. At our house? No, not here. Oh, that's definitely me not out. here. Okay. It's going to be Ooh. somewhere else. That would have, require so it's much be cleaning and prep. Oh my God. Stop. Central Park. I'm just kidding. <laughs> maybe I'm getting, cho- I'm getting choked all up right, right your now. Turn, don't your even, turn. don't your do turn. this to me. Okay. Give this card to whoever is the most perverted. Perverted? I'm not a pervert. How dare you think you I'm such a pervert? You're a faker. Oh, my God. Keep this card if you've ever purposely pretended not to see someone to avoid talking to them. Oh, all the time. Oh, dang. Yeah, I mean, you don't... We, we still live in our... Well, we still live close to where we went to high school, so it's like... We hey, run into you people. You don't want to run into those people. We saw some people at Kroger the other day, and we were like... Oh, yeah. Mm. It, like uh, somebody that was in your class, do you yeah. remember? Yeah. And we all just kind of looked. It was like this one guy, and we just kind of looked at each other, and we were like, "I'm just not gonna say anything." Yeah, I don't want to do that. Just kind of weird. Give this card to whoever TikToks the most. Oh, that's me. Definitely. I'm trying to build a community. <laughs> definitely, Hallie over here. It used to be me, and I need to get up back on that wagon over there. Yeah, dude. So I if you have every day, if you haven't already, make sure you follow at Katie Patel on TikTok. Hello, and, and at, at Hallie, Hallie, Hallie Patel? Yeah, I think Hallie I'm just Patel. Ha- Hallie Patel or Hallie G. Patel. I can't remember. You know, You'll Instagram, find me. guys. Everything. Follow us on everything. Yeah. Um, but I make TikToks every single day because TikTok is seeing my consistency, and I'm getting up there because a lot of people say that they know us from TikTok. Ironically, not this part. Actually, well, this year it's been Instagram. Today, we just got... Somebody just said on, on, on Instagram. Yeah. It was on Instagram. People have been showing us their the Instagram half past shy a lot more than TikTok because it used to be TikTok and now it's turning into Instagram. Yeah, which is actually really cool because you I don't I don't know. It's surprising to me that a lot of people are seeing us on Instagram, but since we're posting so many reels, yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. All yeah. Right. It makes sense. Yeah. All right. Give this card to whoever's most likely to dump somebody on Valentine's Day. You would do that. Yeah, I would do something like that. Because I dumped Hallie. Not really. I don't know. It's kind of like a blurry it's line. Kinda, like, but like, who broke up of with Of course you? I had to do it right before or, or like year anniversary. Oh, yeah. Of course. You did it that night before. Ugh. What like a dumbo. Like a moron. Yeah. Like a moron. Yeah. Like, hello. I'm sorry. Breaking up with me? Why? I'm so sorry. Bad decision. It was a really bad decision but hey, on your part. You gained some good old confidence after that, and you didn't take no S-H-I-T after that. Yeah, no, I've gotten it together. Anytime anything bad happens to me, I bounce back so much stronger, and I don't deal with that. you're welcome. Okay. Newfound confidence. She's a queen. You don't need to pat yourself on the (laughs) back there. (laughs) All right, your turn. I'm a confident queen. It took a long time. But I'm here now, and it's a great place to be. So I encourage you to believe in yourself and be confident always. Give this card to who... who, (laughs) That was messed up. Give this card to whoever can speak the most languages. Bop! I can do that. I can speak good... Oh, my goodness. Why did you punch that? I was going (laughs) to... I was so excited. I told you I'm saucy. I can speak English, Gujarati. I can understand Hindi, and I can... Don't. That's it. I can say, hola. Okay. Me llamo Suketu. Como estas? Y tú? Muy bien. Is that it? Como estas? How do you say tired in Spanish? Fritas. Nope. That's I don't know so what not that right. is. <laughs> <laughs> I can yeah. speak English, obviously. <laughs> um, I took Spanish for... Wait, eight, nine, ten, uh, four years. I don't speak it well now. I barely know anything. And I've been speaking German for the last three and a half years. Say some. Say your favorite phrase in German. Entschuldigung. <laughs> that just means Say my excuse name is me. Tally. My name is Tally. 
Um, All right, say I have to go to the bathroom. Uh, I have to. Ich, <laughs> ich muss. Uh, I'm trying to think. Or I am hungry. Ich bin hungry. Or brauche. I can't remember, but <laughs> sorry. I'm getting really distracted. I'll, I'll Hallie's, come back to you later. Hallie's really good. My brain is not braining right now. Who is most likely to move to LA and become an influencer? Uh, No, New York. Baby, can we cross that out and just put NYC? Because LA, I would never freaking move there. I, I would move to LA. Ew, no. I mean, not, not for very long, but I'd move to LA just to like get gain some new connections in a different state you know why not just make that state new york huh huh give this card to whoever has the best sense of humor really i said i have a dark sense of humor heart dark sense but great sense really yes i mean that's why i fell in love with you in the first place that's so sweet you were funny you didn't care about what people thought about you yeah and you you were funny you were hilarious. You were seriously so funny. I'm not going to lie. Like you were Okay, really like funny. can you give an example? Like when I first met you, you first of all, you came up you didn't say things that normal girls used to say. <laughs> okay. Like, Do I feel like I'm still like that. Yeah, you're definitely like that. And like most girls would be like, ah, "I'm so girly." And then you come out and be like, "Hi." You know? <laughs> what the hell? What is that about? No, I'm just kidding. I I, I you were just like you know I'm you self-conscious just about my voice. I no, hate my voice, which were, is funny because I'm a podcaster. Duh. You were very funny. I can't like think of the exact joke you said, but you said a joke. Or you said I've said lots of You were of saying jokes, very honey. witty things. That's what it was. It That's, wasn't really jokes. Mm. It was your wittiness. That's how my brain works. I'm a very witty individual and which, it's like I can come Give up with this things. card to whoever has the best comebacks. Oh definitely. Hallie, king of comebacks. Queen. Oh yeah, queen of comebacks. Slay. I, so like, okay, this is actually kind of a funny story. My father is the king of comebacks. I trump that. Growing up with him as my father, I learned, I saw, and I leveled up. And I'm the only person that can take the words right out of my dad's mouth Mm -hmm. as he's talking. And he's like, like, I don't even have anything to say to that. And I do that too. I love doing that. I love having that effect on people. It's so fun. I don't do that to everybody because I'm not super comfortable to be openly witty to everybody. But if you really get to know me, I'm very witty and I'm very quick. I'm just like, I'm not always like, I have a hilarious one liner, but it's more like, I'm really thinking about what you're saying and it just kind of happens. I just have something quick that I can say. Facts. Yeah. Okay. Question for you. Give this card to her, to whoever has the funniest laugh. One thousand percent, you. I love Thanks. your laugh so much, Aww. especially when you snort and I wheeze. Yes, I love that. I love Thank when you. we wheeze together. We yeah, were just doing that really like funny. twenty minutes ago. Yeah. I oh, because oh, because we're both farting. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I have to fart right now. I'm gonna yeah, hold it in. Wait. Got some. Should you? Sorry. F- <laughs> 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 All right. No, we were okay. We we're farting because I hate how I'm just giving myself up here. We were having we had sweet potatoes and chicken. Sweet potatoes, dinner. man. I don't know what that is, but they it, have start. They're high in starch. Is that it woo. or whatever? I think we're glucose and intoler- wait. What is it? <laughs> Did I say glucose intolerant? Do you want to make your brain work wait, right now? Wait, wait. What's it called? Gluten. Wait, Glu- glucose. Gluten. No, we we can't we can't process gluten. Like we need to start eating gluten free things. Wait, is that what? what is that was is that what uh, potatoes are? Gluten or no? I don't know what the I don't know what I'm saying right now. To be honest, <laughs> are potatoes gluten? I'm gonna look. Um, are potatoes? While, while Hallie's gluten. doing that, oh yes, potatoes are naturally gluten free. Wait, okay, actually, oh they're gluten free, so it's so not. So I that. think the sweet potatoes are high in starch. So we were we were sitting on the couch and we were talking about recording the podcast. And what did you say? You were farting. Like, okay, first off, you're. Ass- was pointed oh, towards Hallie me. And you were popping p- rockets. Oh, you were popping rockets. Hallie was popping rockets. I was in the bathroom. It doesn't count. Yes, it does. No, it That's does. where it's the loudest. But it does. It does. It doesn't directly affect you, okay? You Again, you were turned towards me like okay, this. Okay, all right. And I was, I was breathing it in with my mouth literally as you were popping rockets. I cannot... Give this card to somebody who's most likely to be in the CIA, Hallie. Oh, yeah. Hallie's Absolutely. good at researching. She's good at finding out things that are not available to the 
majority of people. Like, I don't know how she does it. She definitely, and she always wanted to be a detective, and I can totally see her still doing that. I did. I think, okay, I know, like, we talk about me being a detective, but I think you would be somehow, like, a really good detective. Guys, I'm really good. You, like, remember things that, like, we're, we watch mystery shows, and at the very end of the episode, he'll be like, oh, yeah, this and this and this, and, like, it's honestly kind of shocking because, like, most of the time, I don't think that he's, like, thinking I, about anything. I just think there's, like, monkey symbols in his brain. <laughs> I think uh, sometimes my ADHD actually, like, benefits me. It does. Yeah. You're able to hyper fixate yeah. on, like, oh, this is this. And, like, oh, they found that. And, like, this person did this. And you're just really good at it. I think you'd yeah. be a really good detective. I think shows that I'm really interested in, I can focus very heavily on. For example, Dancing with the Stars. Oh. I make sure that I know all those moves, guys. Those are some good moves. I love, I love that, show. that show so much. Is it my turn? Your turn. Keep this card if you've ever gone more than three days without showering. Have you? More than three days? Yeah. It's a long ass time. I've never gone more than three days. Only if I'm like on my deathbed sick. I've and gone like two I can't days move. without. Because. There you go. Because I was flying to India and we had a long layover. Ugh. So it was like 48 hours by the time I got to Oh the, my gosh. To the house. Ew. Yeah. Um. Your turn. Go again. Keep this card if you've ever had a crush on your friend's significant other. Wait, what? Have you ever had a crush on your friend's significant other? It's like one of your guy friends. Have you ever had a crush on his girlfriend? I'm trying to think. Most of my friends didn't have girlfriends. <laughs> really? That's kind of sad. I know. Yeah, no, I can't think of anything like that. Okay, I'm just going to rapid fire through What about things. you? No. Yeah. No. no? Hello? Okay. No. I wouldn't know. No. All right, go for yeah, it. Yeah, you would know. Hello. Rap- Keep this card if you've ever been someone's first. Oh, Yeah. Wait. First marriage, everybody. Oh, that's it? Oh. That's Not crazy. each other's first kiss. We both had kissed people okay. before. Keep going. Rapid fire. First. Okay. Um, <laughs> keep this card if you've ever hooked up at school. I don't know what a penis is. Keep this card if you've ever fantasized about your teacher. What? Nothing. Keep going. Wait, I do. You just what? Wait, wait. Wait, you you fantasized about a teacher? No, 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 but you have. Oh my god. That was so long ago. But you have. What time? You keep There you go. Listen. Story time. No, I'm Who not was no it? story Who time. Who was it? No story time. Who was it? No. Who was I it? I can't. Did she wear skirts? No espanol. Okay. So Spanish teacher. Okay. No. Hey. Okay, next. Keep, keep going rapid firing. Keep this car if you've ever shot your shot and been rejected. Oh, yeah, yeah. For sure. Have you ever been yelled at by a customer at your job? Oh, yeah. I got yelled at by the old... Actually, I wish there were two of those. I got yelled at by the old people all the time, and I hated it. I got yelled at Subway on a daily basis. And then you got fired. Then I got fired. Okay. Have you ever cried in public? (laughs) I'm 1,000%. I cry a lot. That's in the middle. Have you ever clapped when a plane landed? (laughs) Hallie has. That's the whitest shit I've ever heard. Wait, that's like... Was it like Hawaii? I think, think so. so. I love, I love when people clap when the plane lands. Didn't it like your did, like one time we were sitting by your parents and we were going to Florida and we landed in Orlando and I'm pretty sure they clapped. <laughs> I think it's because everybody was clapping or something happened. Why? I mean, I, I again, I genuinely love it because I think it's so funny. But like, yeah. why do people feel the need to clap when an airplane lands? I don't know. That's so funny. Keep going. Have you ever peed on the side of a street? Oh, yeah. Have oh, you yeah. ever hung out with a celebrity? What? That's a great question. What defines a celebrity? Is it somebody who has 100,000 followers? Then yeah, I have. But is it somebody no. who's like in a movie? Then no. A TV show? We were, hey, we were on Envy Food. Oh, that's true. So mm. I would count that possibly. Mm. But yeah, we were on an episode of Man V Food. Um, if you find that, you find it. Um, I'm not going to tell you yeah. where or when it was, but... We were. I'm going to do fire. rapid fire the green ones. All right, here we go. Give this card to whoever is the biggest workaholic. That's probably me compared to you because you hate working. <clears throat> no, I love working on things that benefit me. All right. Give this card to whoever is on their phone the most. You. Okay. That's okay. Give this card to whoever needs the most alarms to wake up in the morning. <laughs> oh, my God. I just don't know what to do with myself when I hear those 25 alarms go off in the morning. <laughs> That's like honestly such a traumatic yeah. <laughs> sound. I, do, 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 like the Stop, stop. <laughs> the okay. Oh my God. Give this card to who, whoever is the biggest hypochondriac. Hallie, my God. Just wash your hands every 
second. Honey, do you know what hypochondriac means? What does it mean? What do you think it means? <laughs> being, <laughs> being clean. Wait, what does it mean? No, by excessive worry about having a serious illness. <laughs> I feel really stupid right now. <laughs> That's absolutely you. Okay. I, you I, I do that to myself. I'm like, shoot. I think I'm going to die tomorrow. You were so okay. confident in that too. <laughs> That I cannot. Okay, give this card to whoever has the longest snap streak. Guess what? Me and Us Hallie. Bitches. We got oh. like, we got like, what? 3,500 at this point. Mm-hmm. Give this card to whoever has most recently read a book cover to cover. Hallie, oh, duh. Yeah. Give this reading. card to whoever is always late. Hallie, duh. No, oh, you IST. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have more. Can we just like keep doing this rapid fire? This is fun. Okay. You got you got okay. one more stack and I got one more stack. I and got, we're done. Yeah. Okay, okay. Just do all of them together. Okay, I, will, I will. I will. Whoever's most likely to make a joke no one else gets, that's gonna be me. Yeah. Hallie does that all the time. You know what? It's really hard being someone out here who comes up with creative jokes and not just laughs at farts and stupid jokes like you. I make good jokes. All okay. the time, and you don't find them funny. And okay. honestly, nothing breaks my heart more than when somebody doesn't think I'm funny. I make a lot of jokes that nobody gets that I think are funny. Okay, I think I'm hilarious. Ask my mom. That sounds so lame. Yeah, my mom thinks I'm hilarious. I think my mom is hilarious. Yeah, that's okay. You just have to know me. <clears throat> whoever's first, whoever's the most likely to be the first one to die in a scary movie, absolutely you. Yeah, because I just feel like I'm invincible. Okay, next. Yeah, whoever stirs the pot the most. Oh, I love stirring that pot. Who's the biggest flirt? Oh, yeah. I like talking to everybody. Who has more Instagram followers? Me. Ah, shoot. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Who cries in every movie? That's really both of us. Yeah, we're both such babies. I'm a crier. Yeah. For sure. We're big wimps. Who has the most recent selfie on their phone? Me, because I'm obsessed with myself. Who is the biggest gossip? You. I love gossiping. Give this card to whoever is most likely to make a major decision based on their horoscope. You. Uh, Hello. Shoot, I guess that's you're one right. that, yeah, no, one, Okay, when I first met Indian you, you're like in their freaking horoscopes, man. I'm a Leo, everybody. Oh my god. Hallie's a Capricorn. You have to let everybody know. Give this card Leo. to whoever most likely to color code their underwear. Hallie, Ooh, I would her entire wardrobe is color coded. It's insane. It is. It's cute. Give this card to whoever is most likely to cry after losing a board game. Hallie, Me. she's the most competitive mother trucker in the world. And that's all I have to say to that. This yeah. was really fun. This was really fun. I like this. We should do, should this, we do this more again? <laughs> with other games like Cards of Humanity or anything, really. Yeah. We have a um, lot of other games that I think it would be really fun to do this sort of thing. Um, and I also want to do some other stuff where we like have a question here and we write something down and then we like turn it towards each other and like read it really fast. Yeah. That would be really funny. I have one question from you all. Okay. So this <gasps> is question of the week. <laughs> And guess what, guys? Bruh. We actually want to talk way more deeper into this topic, but I just want to mention it at the end because we really appreciate when you guys send in your questions. One thousand percent. All right. So question. Why do women prefer to date men who are older than them? Mm. Younger men, like a couple years younger, can be mature and may be pursuing slash trying to pursue a relationship seriously. How can the situation get their point across how can like younger men get this point across to women um i think it's a great question i think this needs to be a whole podcast episode on its own and maybe we can get somebody who is dating somebody that's younger than them that'd be Mm -hmm. fantastic to be able to just go deeper into it but i do think men older men men mature at a slower rate than women so women are looking for men that are older because then they'll be matched on the same brain waves um so that's why yeah I truthfully think. i could have gone up a few years because I think <laughs> and that's it everybody thank you for asking the question um <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay no, listen i want to agree to your point it took me a say- while to become mature and that's why i'm 27 <laughs> okay that's i turned 27 27 no, no. <laughs> i'm saying i'm saying I'm saying, like, I'm 27. I feel a lot more mature than I was 25, and you're 25. I'm pretty so sure I feel you're like 27 because you were born 27 years. <laughs> okay, listen. 
Sometimes it's 12 o'clock at night. Not really. It's not. It's literally not. What it's, the? it's 1030. I will say, okay, I want to agree to your point because I think women do love to go yeah. for a very mature man because yeah. he's got his ish, his stuff figured out. A woman wants some money. No, wants, it's just he has his priorities. Straight. She wants he a has man. His life figured out. He's got with the know, house. a stable job. He's yeah, he's got a place. <laughs> is that wrong? It's that's not attractive. Wrong. Stability is attractive. It's not wrong. And so that's why I hope that answers your question. And thank you for submitting it. If you want to ask your own question, go to www.halfpastshy.com. And that's where you can also get the merch. That's where you can watch or read Hallie's weekly blogs. Um, please so go read them. Please, please do that. And that's it. That's the end of the episode, everybody. Hallie has a, an announcement that she wanted to mention about her vlog. Man, what a wild, wild episode. I love this been. episode. I do too. This has been fantastic. But I do want to announce today is Monday, October 28th. My second YouTube video is coming out on Wednesday at 4 p.m. EST. Okay? Whoa, 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 whoa. So make sure that you go subscribe. I'm Hallie Patel on YouTube. Go subscribe. I already have one video out called Romanticize Your Life, but I'm about to have video two number out in two days. So please go subscribe. Get excited. I put a lot of work into this one, a lot of thought, and a lot of love behind it. So please go check it out. Show some love. I hope you like it just as much as I do. There's a few people who have been messaging me about, hey, you stopped making videos. Why aren't you doing that anymore? Guess what? I've written something out. All right. It's coming. And I'll let you know when it comes, especially on Half Past Chai's Instagram. So make sure you follow us there at Half Past Chai. And everybody, guess what? We love you, Half Past Crew. Thank you so much for being here. If you've made it this far, comment we are hpc because that is what you are all right we are family can you do we, we are hpc comma we are family oh that's great do that yeah that's cute that's good if you can put a heart do that too thank you for your support everybody and guess what we will see you next monday at half past time All right. <laughs> this is fantastic. Look at this. I'm sweating. Look at this. It's Get so the merch! Woo! I'm just kidding. All right. Yeah. This is the end, everybody. But if you want to hear the story about something disgusting, you can stick around and... I want to hear. Go on to the members-only page and watch and listen to that. Anyways...